My name's Danny Burt, you can follow me on Instagram down there, and this is Most Amazing Top 10, the channel where we take all kinds of weird and wonderful things from all around the world and put them into a nice little top 10 list so you guys don't have to. And today, we've got the top 10 dark web secrets. What is it? Who uses it? And what do they do there? We're going to jump right down the rabbit hole right away with our number 10, which is hiring hitmen. In the darkest corners of the dark web, you can find murder for hire sites such as the Hitman Network. These three guys offer their services to kill any anyone you want in North America for 10,000 US dollars or Europe for 12,000. They even have a referral rewards page where if you tell others about them, you get 1% of what they buy. This might sound horrifying to most of us, but these guys do seem to have some sort of morals. They claim they won't assassinate anyone under the age of 16 or any top 10 politicians. Although I think the second one is more for their own safety, but let's say someone out there did want to use these hitman services, how would they pay? Well, on the dark web, you can't use pounds, dollars, or euros. And factor number nine is that it's all done using bitcoins. Because the dark web has a lot of illegal activity, the people selling the illegal products or services don't want to have any kind of trace leading back to them, and neither do the customers. Normal currencies such as cash, credit, or checks cannot be used as they are too easy to trace. But bitcoin is not so easy. Bitcoin is a peer-to-peer -peer system that allows people to use their computer's processing power to mine and create new bitcoins. At the moment, one one single Bitcoin is worth 395 US dollars. The Bitcoins can then be used to purchase items on the dark web and neither the buyer or the seller have to share any account details. Now Bitcoin can sometimes be used in the real world, but because of its untraceable nature, it's mainly used in the dark web. But now we're going to talk about how to access the dark web because our fact at number 8 is the Tor encryption tool. Tor stands for the Onion Router and is the most popular gateway program to access the dark web. It was was originally developed for the US Navy as a way of protecting government information, but it's an open source software which means you can download it yourself. It promises to make you truly anonymous and your location totally undetectable by running your IP address through routers all over the world. Once you've done that, you can type in the address of any deep or dark web website and away you go. If you guys use this method, then you'll see in the address bar that all the site names end in .onion instead of the usual .com. So if you see .onion, you've somehow managed to stumble upon the dark web. And while you're there, our fact at number seven is that you can buy all kinds of illegal and fake documents. There are sites on the dark web that allow you to purchase any kind of fake ID you can think of. You can get a French national ID card, a Norwegian driver's license, or a British passport for between one to three thousand euros, in Bitcoin form of course. Then put in all your details and they'll send it over to you. Some of them even offer free shipping. Some of these sites look so legit and normal that you almost forget they're very, very illegal. I mean, come on guys, I know free shipping is tempting, but you know, let's not go into the illegal stuff. Let's move on to our number six now, which is that apparently the dark web is a recruiting tool for spies. In 2012, a secretive group by the name of Cicada3301 posted a series of intricate puzzles online for members of the public to find, so that they could find highly intelligent individuals. News of these difficult internet puzzles spread around the world as people tried to solve them and advance to the next step. The enigmas sent around data security, cryptography, and steganography, and led people into the deepest reaches of the dark web and back again. All this led people to speculate that Cicada 3301 is a recruitment tool for government agencies like the NSA, the CIA, or MI6. The theory is that whoever solves these puzzles will be hired as a spy or a hacker. And guess what guys, it's still going on. Every single year on January 4th, there seems to be new puzzles being added, so you could still crack the code. But now we're going to talk about the Silk Road road in at number five. Probably the most notorious site on the dark web, the Silk Road was an online black market that sold every type of illegal drug under the sun. From the popular sales of marijuana to class A drugs such as heroin and LSD, the Silk Road had it all. Just one click away from delivery to its users. The FBI shut down the site in October 2013 and arrested the founder. After monitoring the site in the months leading up to the arrest, the FBI found that the site saw $1.2 billion in revenue. Moving on to our number four now, we're going to talk 
about the revolutionary dark web. Now although it might seem like the dark web is just used for drugs and murder, that's not necessarily the case. The anonymity of the dark web has attracted many groups who use it to gather in secrecy and share information that they would not be able to do in the real world or even on the internet. One example was the Syrian revolution in 2011 with videos being secured on the dark web and Edward Snowden acquiring information on the NSA's global surveillance program. So we know that you can get information on the dark web, but what about weapons? Well at number 3, we're going to talk about dark web weaponry. Sites like Black Market Reloaded and The Armory drew attention after the Silk Road takedown as the new dark web hubs of illegal gun trade. For inflated prices, they offer everything from rifles to hand grenades and bombs and are proud of their services. The owner of The Armory said in an interview that they are a group of former soldiers who saw the need to support citizens and local militias who are not able to legally arm themselves. People who have seen these websites have come back with mixed reports, some people saying they are totally legit and that they actually arm dangerous people and others are saying they're just massive scam sites. Either way, we're at number 2 now guys and we're going to talk about the sheer size of the dark web. Search engines like Google or Bing can only access a small fraction of all information on the web. The rest of that hidden information is called the deep web which contains the dark web as a part of it. Check out this infograph that states that the deep web is an astonishing 500 times the size of the so called surface web. In fact, every website you've ever heard of or could ever find with Google makes up just 4% of all the www content. The iceberg analogy is often used to show just how vast the deep and dark web is compared with the internet we see on a daily basis. Alright, we've looked at how to access the dark web, the illegal services you can buy on it and the currency it uses, but our number one fact about the dark web is the cannibals. The darkest recesses of the dark web will cater to a person's needs no matter how strange, illegal or twisted they are, including cannibalism. Over the years people have come forward and said they found sites where cannibals and people who want to offer their own flesh come and meet. These people reported so called cannibalistic forums where members chat and arrange meetups with people saying things like I need someone to eat my fresh meat. I am juicy and tender. Oof. And on that note guys, I think I'm going to wrap up this video otherwise I won't be able to eat lunch today. So we've talked about some of the craziest dark web secrets out there, but do you guys know any better ones? Because I'm actually kind of curious now, I want to know more about it. If you're new to this channel guys, then don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you can stay up to date with our daily videos. Two of them are floating over there right now. And as ever guys, thanks for watching Most Amazing Top 10. My name's Danny Burt, you can follow me on Instagram somewhere down there. Thanks for watching and I'll see you very soon.